So I decided to make some art, and I am not an artist, so bear with me. Go for it. I got my inspiration from these two books I read this year. I read a bunch of books this year, but these are two nonfiction books that I got some inspiration from. Sir Ken Robinson's The Element, he talks about how people need to do what they love, and that's when you will be successful. So he talks about finding your tribe, you know, finding people who love what you love, and hanging out with them, and being with them all the time, and talking to them about different things. And I've done that with teachers that I know around the globe. So I hang out with teachers that love what I do, and and I love what they do, and we actually grow with each other. And so we read this book together on the Genius Hour chat on Twitter, and we also read this passion-based classroom by Angela Myers. And she talks about how every class should have clubhouses. Like in science, you should have a clubhouse for learning about electricity, a clubhouse for learning about physics, a clubhouse for different subjects. And she says in LA too, and I'm like, hey, I don't think we can do that. But she also talks about how students should share what they love. So next year when we do Genius Hour, I hope that we build in some time for kids to share what they're doing along the way and not just share with me. Because it's nice that you guys share with me. I get to hear it, but then you don't get to hear it from everybody else. So these were inspirational for me, and I thought, what the heck am I going to do with these? But my cousin Robert was over on the week. My cousin. My nephew Robert was over on the weekend. And he saw my Pinterest account, and he's like, what's this? And he saw a crayon art, melting crayon art. And I thought, well, we could do that if you want, because we had him over for a Christmas present a little late. So we started brainstorming ideas, and his was up here. And I don't remember what he said, but he wanted me to stick the, the crayon right in the glue gun. I'm like, I'm not doing that. And so we looked at different designs, and we brainstormed what we were going to do. And then we went shopping. We went and bought some dollar store crayons, <coughs> Dollar Tree or whatever. And we bought a tablecloth to cover up the table, because I didn't want to get nasty. And then we went to Michael's, and we bought canvases. And I should have bought, um, I should have brought the coupons, you know how they have Michael's coupons all the time? Because it was $20. I could have saved $8. That's one thing I learned. Go for it. <laughs> but another thing I learned was that those dollar store crayons, they don't melt. Like you can, you can heat them up as much as you want, and they stay solid. I don't know what they're made out of, but they don't melt. So we had to spend more money on Crayolas. Um, we bought the Crayola ones, and you can see here, we tried it on this little piece of cardboard my husband made. And the, the hair dryer was melting the spray paint on the cardboard but it wasn't melting the, the crayon. So if you want to melt some crayons, you're going to have to use Crayola. This one is without the paper on it. So we decided to take the paper off because it, it got all nasty looking. The paper got nasty looking and wet and different colors. So we decided to take that off when we did our art. Um, we bought seven canvases because we each wanted to make two. And it was a package of seven instead of four. <laughs> Um, but we kept learning, and it's good we did buy some more canvases just in case we needed to. But this was Robert's design. He put Be Happy in the middle, and he put a little crooked circle around it, and then he put his crayons out here. And he didn't care that they were broken. He's like, just put them on, just put them on. So we had glued them on. Um, one of the next lessons I learned was don't glue the crayon. Glue the canvas, because you start gluing the crayon, and it will just melt right away. So put the glue on the canvas and stick it on. And then it falls off. When I glued it on the crayon, it fell off and it rolled around and it already made purple spots on this paper. Um, these were the issues I saw when we started doing Roberts. The glue got all conglomerate, not the glue, the wax got all conglomerate over his <coughs> happy. He couldn't see it anymore and he's like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, all right. Um, <laughs> the crayon rolled off and it and it sprayed all this stuff so I had to re-glue that. And then it attaches to the edge here. I don't know why it stays on the edge. Like we were blowing it down and it would get to the edge and it would spread out. And then when we turned it to glue it to melt another one, it would spread out some more. But I learned that he doesn't care. You know, he's seven. He loves this. He's like, go for it. It's okay. It's okay. I'm like, it's okay. That covers up the words. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's pretty. I'm like, all right. So that was a good lesson for me because I like perfection and he doesn't care about it. So I said, okay, we've got one done. You know, you want to make your second one? He's like, Nope. So he just decided to add more colors. He's like, I want more colors. So he added all of these on the edges there, and I let him go at it with the hair dryer, and he was in seventh heaven. And we splattered all over this box that it's on here, but he was loving it. And he's going to hang it up in his room on a diagonal so it looks like a diamond, and he's in love with his art, and he signed it on the back. So I thought, okay. My genius hour presentation, like if I were you guys, what the, what would I do? Like why is this inspirational? Why does this have purpose or meaning to me? And I thought, well it's fun, yeah. I have a blank slate, I can do whatever I want. I have this canvas here. 
what should I do that can be inspirational or that can help out people or do something having to do with my passions? And I had no idea. So I started thinking of my passions. I love inspirational quotes. But, hey! <laughs> I love inspirational quotes. You know, Danny was the first to help out with our inspirational quotes on the board there. And I love them just as much and I want to share them with people. Um, I love some of the videos we saw, like Kid President. <laughs> And I thought, he's got some really good quotes. Maybe I can do something with that. So I took one of his quotes. And, what will you create that will make the world awesome? And this was my design. And I cut my crayons in half because they were so long with his, I didn't want them to be that long. And the, the 12 by 12 canvas we have wasn't that big. Um, I cut mine in half and I covered my quote with a piece of felt. And I just stuck it on with scotch tape thinking that'll save the middle from being all waxed up. But as you can see, it didn't work that well. Have it. Um, one thing I loved was that it did come off the edges, and that part was great. And I did, I did the Roy G. Biv, the, the color rainbow, because I'm too structured and I like perfection, and I didn't get it. But Robert's like, just throw them on there, just be random. I'm like, I can't. So I put them in order. Um, but that was my first try, and I thought, okay, is this what I call practice? I'm like, no, I can hang this one up. Go ahead. So for the next one, I wanted it to be perfect, absolutely perfect. So these are my problems I had. My finger slipped on the last word, and I connected the exclamation mark. I'm like, oh! But what I also did was I spelled the word through wrong. T-H-R-O-U-G, and I forgot the H, and I went right into the next word. And there's no way I fit the H in. So I'm making a heart shape on this one. I covered it up. I covered up the rest of it with paper and tape, and I did the outline here, and I spray painted it white. Like, I'll just paint it again. I'll just paint it white, who cares? Um, and I rewrote it, and I, I did cover up most of it, and here's the through, and you couldn't see the through. So I was able to actually see some of it, though, to actually write over it, so I didn't have to measure that all out. It rained, so I couldn't go melting. And then when I did melt it, um, we made an extra thing. Mr. Kerr made an extra piece for the hairdryer, because I throw out all my extensions in my hairdryer. We made an extra piece to focus the heat better, and it sort of worked better that way. But it was still really messy. Go ahead. Um, another thing I was irked about, because I am a perfectionist, is that it did leak in here a little bit. I covered up, I covered up the quote, but it leaked in there a little bit. And so I'm still deciding if I'm going to put white out over it or not. But what I did end up doing is tracing it with a Sharpie to make it more outlined. And this is my final one. Um, I wanted to do a shape. And I wanted it to be fun and red and pink. I still have issues with the <laughs> with the extra thing here. Who thinks I should use whiteout to cover it up? No? Yeah? It's <laughs> perfectionist like yeah, me. It is art, but you can make art better. One of my big lessons I learned with this is I could keep redoing this. I could take this outside and keep melting it. It doesn't have to be done. And I thought that was pretty neat. Like I could just keep melting it, melting it, melting it. Um, and if these things fall off, which I love, where if people touch them and they fall off, then I can I can just melt some more. This one's not falling off yet. So I used a couple books. I was inspired, and I did it all in one weekend. But it took quite some time, and I learned a lot. You have to get print out your coupon, buy Crayolas. It's okay if it's not perfect. Have fun with it. You didn't learn and that. And you could yet. be doing it. You're it's, getting there. It's okay if it's not perfect, right? It's it hard. It's okay. It's okay. So. Up. Any questions? Okay. Uh, no questions.